What's up, everybody? Ken Show here, HarmonicLiving101.com. Welcome to the classroom. And this is something you'll probably hear me preaching on the regular. But to all you young guys out there, under 30, if you're not in shape, get in shape now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till you get a girlfriend. Don't get in shape to get a girlfriend. None of that bullshit. Go ahead and get in shape right now and stay in shape. Because after 30, it's hard as hell. And for you guys that are 30 and, and over, unless you have some kind of special metabolism or something like that going on, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna it's gonna be a difficult a difficult thing, you know. I mean, doing this stuff naturally, I, I don't know about guys who are or using steroids and you know all these these crazy supplements fat burners and all that kind of shit I don't know it that stuff might enhance it make it quicker just as quick as it was when you're younger than 30 I don't do any of that I do just straight clean everything the only thing I do is take supplements like those shakes and stuff like that and multivitamins but as far as you know some kind of drugs and stuff like that i'm scared of that kind of stuff so if you're not scared of it you know maybe you don't need to be in such a rush to get in shape and stuff but if you're you're natural you you're more on the natural path like i am i you know i eat vegan foods only and processed is very small percentage of that I, i'm even contemplating cutting out the processed stuff so um it, it, it makes my heart beat a little bit just to even think about it but it's it's some non-nutritional bullshit i'm eating you know it's just for entertainment basically but and i'm trying to weigh the value of you know even keeping that in my life as a source of entertainment you know but for you guys over, over 30, you know, just be prepared to, you know, go a few years, you know, and just really lock down the idea that it's going to be a lifestyle to, you know, be in shape and get your workouts in. Don't let anything, I mean, nothing sidetrack you, get you off of that. I, I, I mean, I don't even care, you know, what's going on, you know, there's some crazy things that can go on in your life that can, you know, life events that happen you know, I, 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 I realize that kind of stuff and I, I let some life events sidetrack me and it wasn't too late though you know, that was that was the thing, I, you know, life events I think I was like 32 33, yeah, every year is some shit man, you know and the older you get after 30, it's always going to be some shit, man. It's, you know, you're going through stuff like most guys are, you know, married about this time. Most, most, you, that's, during this time, this is when you start losing friends and loved ones. People start dying, man, because that's just the natural process is you're getting older. There are more, you know, possibilities out there for people to, you to lose people at this point. I mean, some of you probably may have lost people before that, but once you get, you know, you get older, people start dying. And the, those are serious life events that can just throw you off. And people start, you know, going down different paths and stuff. Like your partner may wake up one day and, shit, not want to be with you anymore. It ain't nothing you can do about it. But you don't want to let your your life revolve around all those exterior events that you you have no control over so you know just stay on your path regardless man and you, i mean you start having children after 30 most people and it's, it's it's a hard thing to try to take care of your children and maintain you know you want to be a good parent and try to maintain a a, a good healthy workout you got to try to find that balance as to how much time you gonna be spending with the kids how much you're gonna be putting into your workout because you you want to be healthy for your kids right so you can't just put 
everything, every moment into your children. Otherwise, unless they're athletes, and there's no way in hell they're going to be athletes that little bitty babies. So, you know, you, you can't just make other people your purpose right you can't revolve your your life around other people I don't it doesn't matter how close they are to you because ultimately you're being a disservice to yourself and you're being a disservice to them because you're not being the best you that you can be when you make them the focus if that makes sense to you but it really clicks to me now and I'm glad I was able to, you know, I'm, and I'm not even fully where I want to be physically, but I, I'm not far away from it now. But I can't even imagine, you know, just start if I were to just be starting this out right now, I'm at 37, almost 38. If I were to be starting this right now, I don't know. Shit is it's like hard to even think about it. Going back and saying, "Damn, I'm gonna start and get in shape. I'm gonna start, and, you know, being more focused on career and, you know, spiritual evolution and stuff like that." Man, if if I had to just start right now, and I started, you gotta think, I started five years ago, and I'm just now getting almost where I want to be. I'm not even where I want to. So, that's just my little quick note. Check me out, harmonic11101.com. Welcome to the classroom.